with Ken Cocaine, your opening statement. Good evening. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you to the Chamber and St. Paul's for hosting. Look at Bristol today. It's been built four years ago. Building is going on all over Bristol. Downtown develop development has begun. Crime rate is the lowest it's been in over 15 years. Our Southeast Industrial Park now has five companies in it, with the first company looking to expand. We now have a AAA bond rating, which is unheard of, of a city of our size and demographics. The grant list has grown $66 million over the past year. Because of this growth, it allowed us to keep a zero tax increase. Unemployment continues to go down, with approximately 600 new jobs created in the last four years. We have been very aggressive in blight, transforming neighborhoods. Just in my, in my counterparts uh, neighborhood, we took down three houses within a quarter mile of our house. Memorial Boulevard, phase one, has been appropriated. This will now get our theater online. Some say this too, took too long. I say we're taking our time to do it right. We brought Bristol Blues into town. Over the last three years, we have had 100,000 people go through the gate. We regionalized veterans strong. This was a program that the government started, was keeping going for six years, and then pulled the plug. I said our veterans are too, too important for us, we can't do this. I talked with other municipal leaders, and we regionalized this. We are now the only one in the country that has this, and we are being watched by the government. We implemented full day kindergarten. We sold Bingham and O'Connell School, both of which will now be senior housing and be at a tax rolls for the first time. Our two, our two high schools now have state-of-the-art synthetic fields. As you listen tonight, look at the facts. Not what someone throws out and just say to distract from the facts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ellen Zappo Sasso. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming. I think that for those of you who know me, many of you are probably very surprised to see me sitting up here again after the razor thin loss that I encountered in election 2015. And honestly, there are some days that I can say that no one is so more surprised than I. However, I think that as a resident and someone who cares about this community, I've been watching, I've been listening, and I too have been making a list. However, my list is very different than what you're hearing already tonight in the opening statement. The same opening statement that's been given at the two other forums that we've had. And tonight, I'm going to spend some time dissecting that list because I think that you, as voters, as taxpayers, as residents, as people losing value in your homes and who are concerned enough about the quality of life in Bristol deserve more than platitudes. We have a great community. And I think back to a great book that many of you have probably read, which is Bowling Alone. And it talks about the social capital. Tonight is more about facts, but facts that mean directly what happens to us as a community. Over time, we have become disconnected, whether through technology or other issues. We have become a back porch, back deck, and air conditioning philosophy. Moving away from 100 years ago, where we were a front porch community, where we cared about our neighbors. We sign less petitions today. We are less involved. We have had civic clubs fold for lack of membership. That is not the kind of community that is bright, vibrant, and that is rich in interaction. We cry out for placemaking and for public spaces, whether it's Starbucks or the Senior Center or any of those places where you can have a human, human connection. That's what's missing, and that's what policy has to be. It's more than just a list. It's a way of life. Thank you very much. 